Have you ever heard of Diablo 2, that game that is pretty good? Well, it actually could have possessed more stuff, but it doesn't. Thanks for watching, this has been Dip Ass Diablo, make sure to absolutely fucking smash that like button. Yeah, so games cutting content is a pretty common thing, and you see a lot of YouTube videos discussing the oddities from our favorite game series, and I felt like it'd be fun for me to run down Diablo 2's cut content, because I am certainly the most informed individual in the game's history, and I assuredly know what I'm talking about. A large gripe I have with videos like this, though, is that the information is either presented slowly, poorly, boringly, snoringly, and people just won't hasten up and give it out in a quick format. But you're in luck, because I'm condensing a whole heap of Diablo 2 cut content into bite-sized, swear-filled chunks. Let us start with a quick gallivant around the guild system. Yeah, the Diablo 2 guild system, which to this day sounds like a fun concept, was scrapped in favor of the non-guild system. This is strange, because you can find a cubic-ass ton of assets and information regarding the guilds, but it never saw the light of day. Here's some JPEGs of what the system interface would have looked like, ooh. In general, this is going to be another form of endgame content, with members having to complete the game before being able to make a guild. There were cabinets you could hang in the virtual bathroom and living room and shit, and they seemed to be able to house achievement items. Of these, there were definitely a guild vault where you could probably put a bunch of useless items like Saigon's equipment and then be banished from your guild for licking balls. Then there is the message board, a concept which is so ethereal and undecipherable that I can't begin to even suggest what a message board would be good for. My best guess is that it would be a board for placing messages, but that's a long shot. Finally, there was the trophy case, which seems like it would have been a great place to show off achievement items. Kind of a cool concept, having predefined achievements to hunt for would have been a fun concept. What kind of writing is that? That's dog shit. I even reread it. It didn't seem bad. There's also this thing called a steam stone. A steeg stone would have been where you steeged, or rather, where you could have donated gold to upgrade your guild hall or some shit like that. So instead of steeging all day, let's talk about some cut content outside of the guild system. The biggest cut feature overall in all of Diablo 2, the Paladin Flaming Sword, which it would have been a flaming sword the Paladin could use. There's no details beyond this, and in general, this sucks to talk about. Alright, being serious, here's some real interesting shit, especially for any players who have played the game. For people who haven't played D2, seeing this wolf enemy won't impress you, but for me, this shit gives me a big case of the wows. Here's the Butcher, trying to rehash this guy before Diablo 3 even. Wow. Elemental demons floating balls of various colors. They move like gloams, so good thing these fucking demonic beings didn't get put into the final version. It is the Chad Quill Bear. He doesn't give two halves of a half of a shit about you. The Mosquito Nest, another spawner presumably. Heinous, looks like an anus. Speaking of that concept, it's the Evil Hole. Ooh. The Plant Beast, a vaguely intimidating concept. Pretty sure this is ripped off from something, but eh, yeah, whatever. The Gorgon, a very unfinished enemy. And then the scariest enemy of them all, the Shitting Skeleton Archer. Bow before his bent ass. Moving on, how about we talk about the Organ System, which Path of Exile would steal 20 years later, thieving bastards. In Diablo 2, you would kill, say, Zombie, and possibly receive a Zombie Heart. This would be convertible into a new item, who knows what kind of thing would pop out. The only evidence I can find for what would come out is another item that doesn't exist, the full healing potion. These organ items were far into development when it seems that everyone simultaneously realized that walking around picking up appendixes and ball sacks seemed like a weird and creepy idea and it was scrap. This is also the game where you use enemy corpses as bombs and you kill the lords of hell but I guess ass cheeks were too violent to smash into some kind of glass bottle. Actually on second thought I kind of see the problem. A couple more quick ones for you, there were elixirs in the game, what they'd be good for, who knows. Additionally, herb existed, herb even has a sound effect. Listen to this. Herb. Obelisks were something that did something. Doesn't this bother you? Like, they got pretty far into making it, it seems, but there's no information on what they did. If you cheat to spawn one in and use it, it crashes the game. Diablo himself has a soul stone in the game files, and it was likely going to be used in additional quests for Act 4. If you've ever played the game and wondered why the final act of the original game was so short and had less quests than every other one, it's because the game was on a tighter schedule than good belt analogy. That's what the note I left myself in my script and I never finished says. So yeah, anyway, but yes, the game had to come out, so Act 4 was just left in the dust, and and with it was Diablo's Soul Stone. Presumably, you would have had to destroy Diablo's Soul Stone as you did Mephisto's, but honestly, fucking don't bother. Just throw it into Act 3. No one would give a fuck to go look for it there. Interestingly enough, there is a lot of placeholders for rune words in the game files. Three are actually made up with no stats to support them, being Vengeance, Voice, and Wonder. Also, Wonder was a wand rune word comprised of Nef, Soul, Ist 
which is not possible to create anyway since wands cannot have three fucking sockets, guys. Hope someone was fired for that blunder. Also, if I don't see Destiny's Daughter or the Lover's Rune Word put into Diablo 2 Resurrected in a future patch, then oh boy, I'll be mad and then do shit all about it. There is also a whole dumbass ball load of suffixes that never saw the light of day, like X of Teleport Shield, an effect that would sometimes teleport you if struck in combat. So yeah, give me more Oculuses, I love that. Here's something interesting though. There are uniques which were fully made yet not implemented. I sort of covered this in my video, the Diablo 2 items that were not meant to be, but I didn't mention Merman Sprocket. Merman Sprocket was to be these boots that absolutely kicked mega ass. Like, honestly, look at these things. You sprocket in step, quickly adept, with high defense and replenish life, who's leaving you for playing too much? Yep, your wife. That was fun. Anyway, here's some more uniques. Frost Wind Axe would have been the mother of all axes, just giving an absolutely insane amount of stuff. Like, big. That's the word for this kind of axe. Big and cold. There's also a different armet. Halberd's Reign, which was a different helmet altogether in the final version. This one is an absolutely amazing item, giving cold damage and not sucking ass. There's also Dark Fear Armet, funnily enough. This one has no stats at all. Oh, so this is where they got their idea for Steel Shade Armet. Arenas were a PvP-oriented concept, having enough programming to allow us to look at what arena mode would have done. It seems to count kills and track how well you do against players. Seems like a useless thing to not finish, as they opted to just have players walk around and collect ears for some reason. I mean, that's simpler, I suppose. Look at Worf's face! And Farah's! There's a few other cut faces, I don't know what these would have really been used for, it's just like, weird, and it doesn't even look good. But I'll just do one more so I don't have to end on Warrior's face as cut content. There appeared to be workings of a sixth act, but little can be inferred. When reached out for a comment, David Brevik didn't answer me, because I didn't actually contact him. I'm guessing that there wasn't anything formalized, and this data was merely a placeholder in case they wanted to do something else, like kill Deckard Kane for no reason, but they just waited for the sequel. Also, additionally, little bonus stuff, you know, Blizzard North was all also going to make Diablo 3, so I'll throw in a little screenshot from that project. But it looks like they were also going to go the Angel route, and I mean, honestly, the game kind of looked like Titan Quest. It's a good game. I will one day, I will soon talk about Titan Quest. Had all of these things been put into Diablo 2, it would have been incredibly ambitious. And to be honest, I think it would have been really cool. Bring back the organ system. Let me grind up some ass. Maybe next time I talk about the cunt content of Diablo 3, starting with the entire Blizzard North department. I'm starting to have bad hope for Diablo 4, you guys.